Hello friends, welcome to BSV Solution. My name is Yogesh Nadi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extend activities in Oracle Fusion CRM application. So using application composer, you can change the item that appear on the application set of pages for activities. So we can make changes for activity landing page, create an added task, create an added appointment. So let's see how to extend activities in application. So let's go with the application. So this is the home page of the application. First, we see the activities in this application. So click on this navigator. Click on this cells, click on this activities. Now click on this activities tab. So this is the page where you can create appointments, you can create call reports, you can log a call and you can create a task. So let's click on this create task. So this is the create task page where you can fill the information and create the task. So in this video, I'm going to enable the activity created date on this create task page. There is no any activity created date. So I'm going to enable it. So this will be appear on this, this the below the status. So before we before we creating enabling before we enabling this this field we have to create one sandbox. So cancel it. Click on this navigator. Scroll down in the configuration part. Click on this sandboxes. So this is the page where the send boxes, the list of send boxes display over here. Now click on this create send box. So let's enter the name of this send box. PASP. Now let's select tools for this send box. So I'm going to select application composer and click on this create and enter. So this is the sandbox get created PISP and uh, above the vision you can see the active sandbox display over here and this is the tool you can add more tools by clicking this add more button. Now click on this navigator and go to the application composer in the configuration. Scroll down in the configuration click on this application composer. Uh, this is the application composer page. So click on this expand button of this standard object. And we are going to enabling the field in the activity part. So click on this activity expand button and click on this pages. So we are landed, we are landing the page 
where we can enable the fields in the activities. So this is the activity page. This is the landing page layout. In this landing page layout, we have a my tasks, my appointments, and activities. So you can enable the field in this portion. And uh, this is the creation page layout. So we have a task create, call report create, and the appointment create. So we are going to enable the field in the task create. So select this standard layout. And click on this duplicate creation page layout. Let's enter the name of this layout. Click on save and edit. So this is the creation page layout. Click on this edit button of task create. It will take few seconds to complete it. So in this page where you can enabling the field, so select that field you want to enable. So I'm going to select uh, activity creation date from the available field and move it to the selected field. So you can see in the selected field. Now click on this save and close. Now again, click on this turn button. Now you can enable the fields in the, in the creation page layout and in the call report create and in the appointment create. So I take the example only task create. So let's see the changes of the create. Click on this. Navigator, click on this activities, click on this activities.
Let's create one task. So click on that. You can see over here the activity creation dates gets enabled over here. So this is the today's date. You can see. Now let's create one record for this task. Let's take the two date. Let's click on seven flows. So this is the task list. So there is no result found. So let's search for the task. Create it. So this is the detail of this this task, and this is the due date. There is no any created activity created yet because we enable it in the creation page layout. We are not enable it in the detail page layout. So we have to enable it in the detail page layout. So click on that. So likewise, you can enable it. You can enable the fields in the appointments, create appointment. You can enable fields in the caller log and in the create call report. So now publish this sandbox. Click on this publish. So this is the last step to save this whole process. The changes we have made are saved after publishing this sandbox. Finish it. Yes. So the sandbox gets refreshing. Now click on this publish button. Now the current status is publishing. After completing this process, see the sandbox gets published. So the process gets completed. So this is how you can extend the activities in Oracle Fusion applications. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.